coming up on the Salida Superhero Headquarters. Its establishment is shrouded in mystery and all we have is urban legends and rumors. Dude, I heard there were a government project that was based off of crash land and alien technology. Salida Superhero Headquarters. Now some say there is also a different laundromat in Salida, but it is not the superhero headquarters, it is actually the home of a criminal organization. Broadway Laundry next to Vicky's Grooming. Vicky's Grooming that takes underage dogs and dogs and pairs them with 30 year old men. It was a front for ghosts. Like that's where, that's where the paranormal tends to congregate. Because Salida's got secrets within secrets. Yeah, so actually we have the superhero headquarters. We passed by the villain headquarters, yeah. Broadway Laundromat. And now this is the meeting place, place of ghosts, ghouls, specters, revenants, and all other sorts of undeads who consume so much liquor, so much, partake in so much alcohol that they actually lose control of their own facilities and become basically shells within their own bodies. Spirits consuming spirits. Bogies and banshees. Consuming beers. And brewskis. left we are approaching the Salida Superhero Headquarters. Its establishment is shrouded in mystery and all we have is urban legends and rumors. The Salida Superhero Headquarters. Did I heard it was like an AI project that went rogue? At one point it was an underground operation, but now it is completely above ground. Dude. All of our trains are machines. Track number one. And all of our coffee makes machines. And all our coffee makes our machines. And all of our trains, all of our trains carry the coffee to the machines that make the coffee, it makes the machines. Does that mean that all of our trains are made of coffee? All of our trains are coffees and machines. And all of our machines are made of coffees carrying trains. And all of our trains carry machines that make coffee. Water. And all of our machines are made of coffee. And all of the water that goes into the coffee. And all of the coffee that makes the machines that makes the trains. And all that hold the machines that make the coffee that make the machines. Water equals food equals life. Mr. T's Delicate Donut uh, is a cultural nexus and hub of the valley. It's a various and sundry political figures, including Bill Clinton, Barack Obama. Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, George McGovern, Barry Goldwater, Barry Goldwater turned down the invitation, but that's okay because he sucks. Dearest Christopher, would you characterize yourself as somebody who deserves a donut?
Lida Superhero Headquarters. Its establishment is shrouded in mystery and all we have is urban legends and rumors. I heard that when their funding got cut off, they organized a local telephone between KTH and KTSF, but all the money went missing. It's full of machines. It's very unique. So what he ends up discovering in all of his experiments is like taking these uh, you know, sea creatures out of the coral reef and different things, all kinds of stuff. I'm doing all kinds of weird experiments on them. He basically figures out a way to make what the, in modern terms, the best way to describe it is, you know how we have like the like impossible burgers now, right? Like fake meat. Sure. That's supposed to be like realistic. Sure. Well, what if you could like make, but it's not like alive. It was never alive to begin with. This new material that I have created. And his son was an engineer, and perhaps more importantly, a uh, enterprising young businessman. So Rossum the Younger, factories where they make bones, they stamp them out of, out of big sheets and like troughs that need the, need the skin, the dough that becomes the skin and blooms that weave the bones or the blooms that weave the sinew and nerve. And, and the, so the, the robots, this whole concept in the play of the robots is it's good has persisted into the robots. I mean, I was waiting for the opportunity to jump in and say, and that is one of the many origin stories of the Salida Superhero Headquarters. <laughs> its establishment is shrouded in mystery, and all we have is urban legends and rumors. At one point, it was a factory for robots. They were robots of flesh. The original robots. There have been rumors for a long time that people actually go here to do their laundry. I think it's just a mess though. Tenemos que mostrar la tecnología que está pasando aquí, en ese edificio. 